Hello, in this video, we will look at combo box. A combo box, also known as a choice list or drop down list, contains a list of items from which the user can choose. For example, this is a combo box. You can choose the items. There's four items here. The combo box class is a generic class. When you create a combo box, you specify the element type in the combo box. So these are all the items in the combo box. And this is the uh, visible row count. So how many, if you have a lot of rows, you can specify, I only want five rows or 10 rows to be visible. And those are the constructors. Combo box is a subtype of combo box best, which, which has this value property. And this is the value selected in the combo box, and editable, editable. So this is editable property, specifies whether the combo box allows user input on action, specify the handler for processing the action event. For example, we create a combo box for strings. We're gonna add all those items to the combo box list. This is the get items. When you get the items, and this are all the observable items, and this is the items in the combo box. You can set the uh, style and set the value. This is the value, the current value now, item one. So let's write to this program. We use the description pane. So this is coming from the uh, preceding video when we introduce the uh, text area. So we uh, develop this component that is the description pane. On top of it now, we're gonna have the combo box. When you choose a list of the country, so you change the country to US, you're gonna see the title is US and the uh, flag image is US and the text that is to describe the uh, flag of the US flag. So for this combo, box uh, for this combo box here right along with the uh, label so we're going to put it in the uh, um, in a border pin so this is the, the center this is the left and all this together is in the uh, top of another border pin and this is description pin is in the center of the border pin so now we go into have this program here is the all of this the uh, frag titles and the images and the um, so this is the uh, <clears throat> description pane and this is the uh, frag description so now this is the start so here is the combo box so we're going to create a new combo box using string. So we're gonna set the uh, display. This is going to be set to zero. So this is a set display. Description pane, you're gonna set this index. So set title, set image, and set description. And this is observable list. So this is the one we're gonna have this, all this titles now. So in the observable list, so this is the, put this in the, uh, using this, this is the flag titles. Now we're gonna use this FX collections dot observable array list. So this is the uh, static, method in the FX collections class. And this will build an observable array list 
for all this strings in the uh, fractidal array. So this is the item now. We're going to add all this item into this combo box get items and set this description pane in the center of the pane. So this is the pane is the border pane. And the uh, top is this pen for combo box. And pen for combo box, this is the pen for combo box is border pen. So this is the label and this is the combo box. And we put this, uh, this pen for combo box in this pen. So here is the, uh, the pen's border layout. And now we put the pen to the same and that is all for this program. Now let's put this to NetBeans. I'm going to copy and paste this combo box demo. So here is the uh, combo box demo. So let's go down to this right here, new Java class. Combo box demo. Now, when you run this program, you are going to receive this error here. This is the error message, and the description pane is not there. So we need to get the uh, description pane first. And this is the description pane. So we need to get the description pane from the Live example 16.6. .6. This is the description pane. So now let's do this now. Create right here description and finish. All right, so now for the combo box, we're going we're gonna to run this program now. So, but you are going to see we have a problem. So this is the problem here. So there's some errors right here. So this here, and if you look further down here, and this is something with invalid URL. And that is because all we have here, we have this, the image here. And that is the problem we're having. It's right here, the image. Um, <clears throat> so you need to put all this, this, the image under the class pass. And the class pass for all the programs here. So look at the class pass now. Let's look at the property for this. All of this, you can see this is, this is the way I end. So my um, project, it's my Java FX test. This is the project. It's on the user. And this is the, um, the press. So let's just copy and paste to the command prompt. So I'm going to change this here. And let's do this and find out where is the uh, combo box demo. So here's a combo box demo, let's see what is the class file here. <clears throat> so here is under this class, classes here. So let's go to build and change this to classes. All right, <clears throat> so we need to put the images into this location right here. So what I'm going to do is go to down here to my uh, 
file here. So let's go down to build classes. All right, so this is all my class files. So I'm gonna copy past this book image. So look, those are all my image files. So I'm gonna copy this image right here, copy it here. So we'll get the image right here. And now let's go back to NetBeans, rerun the program now. See, this is the file now. So I'm gonna have China, I'm gonna have India, I'm gonna have US. So that is all for this section on the combo box. See you on the next video.